It all depends on how you see things. I mean, no one has really proved that this videotape or what has been seen on the internet is a true uh, act of what has happened. Uh, there is no independent source confirming that. And the only person who could have confirmed it, who is uh, Muhammad Shahpur, has not uh, confirmed the incident as it was exposed in the videotape. Also, we're just looking at a little bit of the videotape right now. Now, when this videotape first surfaced, even here in the UAE, after their investigation, they did not deny that it was Sheikh Issa seen in the videotape. They said this appeared to be a violation of human rights. Now, if we look at the videotape, shooting at the man, the man was also hit with a stick with, with nails protruding multiple times, was prodded by an electric cattle prod, his genitals were set alight, uh, we, he was run over by a car, there was salt poured into his wounds. Again, I ask you, looking at the tape and looking at the verdict, where is the credibility? Well, first of all, no one can prove that this videotape has not been tampered with. No one can confirm that things that have been shown on that videotape are a true account of what happened that night. Not even the only person who could have said so, and that is Muhammad Shahpur himself. We deny the incident as it was shown on that videotape.